Today's video is brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. The bearded gentleman comes in with an excellent question that I'm sure more than one of you would like an answer to. He has a Lenovo PC that his kids use. It is an i5-4460 with a GT730 graphics card, and he's hoping to refresh it for the kids to game on, and he wants to know what to upgrade. There are probably tens of millions of people out there in this exact situation around the world. You've got a PC in this case for his kids. It was fine once. Once. I don't know if the GT730 was ever great, but it was fine. And the i5-4460, for those of you who off the top of your head don't know, it is a four-core, four-thread Haswell refresh, the Devil's Canyon, that came out in 2014. Because this is now 2021, it almost doesn't seem like it's been that long. That chip is now seven years old. To be completely blunt, it has passed its sell-by date. It's not trash, but it is old. And expecting it to run modern games, and especially if your kids play uh, what are called service games, Fortnite, World of Tanks. Uh, okay, League of Legends would be fine on it. Uh, CSGO would be fine on it. But honestly, Fortnite really wants more than a four-core, four-thread chip these days. They've added so much to that game. It is not like, it was lightweight when it came out. Yeah, but they have put so much into that game. <clears throat> it really wants more. And World of Tanks used to be pretty lightweight. I, I I often throw World of Tanks into that list. Well, it's got ray tracing now. Well, even without the ray tracing, they've added a lot of world detail. They've added a lot of tank detail. They've added a lot of special effects. They've done a, a, an HD remaster of it. It isn't the lightweight client it used to be. No. They've added a physics engine to it. They've, they have. It's, it's more demanding than, yes, it will still run on that, but it's not, it's it's degrading. Now, my standard advice to somebody who says, what do I do in a situation where I've got, in his case, a seven-year-old pre-built, a Lenovo PC, which is yeah. fine. We've done videos on Lenovo's. We've done videos on Acer Aspires and stuff. You can absolutely upgrade those machines most of the time. That machine's not really worth upgrading at this point. You could. We'll talk about that. But most of that machine is now so old and so obsolete, you are better off letting it sunset and just buy a new computer. Given the current graphics card situation in March of 2021, buying, uh, building a computer and buying a graphics card is difficult at best. Yeah, pre-builds. Uh, the, the truth of the matter is there are some pre-builds between $800 and $1,500 that are worth buying with good graphics cards that aren't terribly marked up versus what their components cost. The, it's, a, it's the cheapest way to get a decent graphics card at the moment. Now, the bearded gentleman may not want to spend $800 to $1,500, and there's nothing really worth spending less than $800 on. Anything less than that is just so stripped and old, you're not getting any value for the money. Don't waste your time. If you hear $800 to $1,500 and you recoil and go, man, that's great. I mean, I got a couple hundred bucks. I was hoping I could do a quick upgrade or change something. What do I do? Okay, fair enough. In theory, you could take the i5 out of there and replace it with an i7. An i7-4790 or 4790K would give you hyper-threading. That'll give you 4.8. It would give you 4.8. It would give you more clock speed. True. Even if it's a locked motherboard, which a Lenovo almost certainly is, an i7-4790K would run at 4 gigahertz on all four cores and eight threads, but you would also probably need an upgraded cooler, and you need to make sure your case has enough airflow. True. Well, that's what I've got in there. But because he already has a 4460, he should not need a BIOS update. It actually should just work as a straight swap. Okay. Now, on a machine that old, I would still make sure it's on the latest BIOS, but he should be able to do that as a straight swap with a cooler upgrade even his power supply is probably fine because a 4790K is not that bad. Are you talking like a Hyper 212 Evo or something? A Hyper 212 Evo would be fine. A Hyper 212 Evo or, honestly, a 120mm liquid baby cooler if your case isn't too big. A uh, Corsair H60 would be enough. You're not overclocking. Nope. 
and you're not gonna be doing like, you know, Adobe Creative Cloud rendering. You know, it's not like you're doing Blender rendering and doing all four cores, eight threads at max full throttle. So that'll be DDR3. <laughs> if you've got eight gigs of RAM, absolutely upgrade to 16. If you have 16, maybe you're fine. I mean, D DDR prices are going up. I, I would accept 16 in that. Now, have you looked at the prices of i7 4790Ks lately? No. Yeah. Do I want to know? You probably don't want to know. Uh, I think you're going to be surprised because the reality is... Bitter gentleman said he didn't recoil, but his fiance did. <laughs> he didn't what? Recoil, but his fiance did. Ah. <clears throat> well, a 4790K is going to run you somewhere in the neighborhood of $150 right now. Like you do. And so $150 for a seven-year-old computer... And all you're really adding is now, in fairness, you're adding clock speed because you'll, you'll add about 20% clock speed and you'll add hyper-threading. That's true. But he's still stuck on the graphics card, though. Well, then he needs a graphics card. Here's what he actually needs to do. He needs to buy a used graphics card and he needs to buy a 4-gig card because the 8-gig cards are unbelievably insane. You can get a 4-gig card for under $200. Are you like a 580? Like a no, you're not. I you probably will not get a 580. I'm more thinking like a GTX 1050 Ti. Ooh. A GTX 1050 Ti is not amazing by modern standards. However, it has four gigs of VRAM. They're not useful for mining, so the only people buying them are just people desperate for anything. Uh, we actually just recently sold one for I think 150 dollars. Or hundred and something whatever dollars. We did. If you can find one for one hundred and fifty dollars, he's got a GT seven thirty. A ten fifty Ti mm. is multiple times faster than that. Yeah. Let me put it this way: so long as you don't try to play Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, a ten fifty Ti will play Grand Theft Auto five at four K normal detail at sixty five frames per second. And make sure you find one that doesn't need to be plugged in because some of them need to be plugged in. That's true. Good point. Some do, some don't. Unless, of course, this case has one. But you're right. His power supply might not have a PCI Express power connector. But 1050 Ti's shouldn't need one. If you find one that needs one, that's dumb because that car doesn't pull that much power. But at 1080p, a 1050 Ti would be a massive upgrade. Over. But keep in mind... $150 for the CPU, $150 for the GPU. 300 bucks. Do you have an SSD in there? Because if you don't, yep. that's a huge upgrade. You knew, Now, you don't need a massive one, but I would at least put a 500 gig SSD in there. And you might as well do a terabyte, because then if you, if you buy a terabyte, you can move it to the next computer. Exactly. You're now spending maybe three to $400 on a seven-year-old computer. Let it go. Go buy a new computer. It's time. That computer doesn't owe you anything. Again, if you don't have the money, maybe put a 1050 Ti in there and live with the i5-4460. I don't think an i7-4790K is worth the $150 upgrade. You're, you're, you're putting money into an old machine at this point. That's my opinion. I think the real answer is you let it go. You know what else you can do? I, when I said pre built I'm talking about new machines. Correct. You could always scour Facebook, uh, OfferUp, Craigslist, Discords for a used gaming PC with like a 4 gigabyte RTX 4070, which would be faster than a 1050 Ti, but still not useful for mining with a Ryzen 5 1600 or 2600 and 16 gigs of RAM, that would be mind-blowingly faster. If he could find that for under $500, that makes more sense than putting money into that machine. Yeah. Huh. So, there's choices. There is. It just depends on which way you want to go. I think it's time to let that machine go. I think the only thing... It just... Putting three or four hundred bucks into a seven-year-old machine is just, it's just throwing more money after something that isn't worth anything. Computers age out. They do. And then they become retro. 
like Sean. The question is, can you sing uh, Let It Go? Nope. But Jonathan is. Oh, brother. <laughs> anyway, that's my answer. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs.